Hey guys, it's Channel Springs tuning in from Kingston, Jamaica, and yes, this is kind of going to look like a vlog. I don't really know what I'm doing, but yeah, I got a lot to share. This is Andre, guys. Andrew, say hi. <laughs> so, so I'm actually coming from a sleepover with some mates at my church. We went to um, the prayer mountain today. And it was really, really good. It was really good. Really, really good. Um, it's not my first time going to the Paramountain, but I definitely got something new from God today. Um, I'll share with you guys a little bit later down as the day progresses. So, uh, yeah, just stick around for that, I guess. Plus, what you see down in the title as well. So, yeah. So, right now, we're going to head to church. I have an arts meeting, I believe. Yeah, I have a meeting at church, and uh, then there's a skating rink, and um, yeah, and then there's home. So we'll see how this vlog turns out. Like, I feel so awkward right now, but okay. <laughs> And we're here, Celebration Church, Jamaica. Look who I buck up. <laughs> Check him out on YouTube, guys. His name is Salento. If you want to see these crazy dance moves, I won't give you any more spoilers now. All right. Okay. I'm going to try to start this thing up now. All right, all right. So hey guys. Um, so earlier I make reference to my experience going to the Paramount with some of the youths today this morning. It was really, really, really good. We seek, we prayed, and it was just amazing. And I wanted to leave with you um, a little encouragement um, that has been on my heart for a while. I am studying the book of John and in John chapter 1 verses 45 to 46 it states that okay, so during this period people were starting to um, recognize Jesus they were starting to hear about him both inside of the country of Nazareth and outside of it there's this particular disciple whose name is Philip and he went to let's say his friend called Nathaniel and said to him come and see and learn about Jesus and you know the Lord is here and Nathaniel made a statement and he said can anything good come out of Nazareth in modern days that's what a lot of people have been saying I myself have said that before before I became a Christian can anything good come out of being a Christian what's the point of it what like what, 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 what why do we I don't see how that's going to affect my life anyway and I just want to encourage you guys that just because something is perceived a certain way doesn't mean that that's the way it is and I liked how Philip had responded to Nathaniel because he said to him, come and see. And so that's basically what I'm saying to you out there. Come and see what good you can get out of this. And I can guarantee that you will not be disappointed. When I was at the Mountain today, you know, if you're a Christian, then you can probably relate to this if you've been a Christian for a while. That um, sometimes you get weary. Sometimes you get weary when you're praying for something and you don't see the answers in time. And you know, a part of it makes you feel like God has forgotten you, but you also know that He hasn't. It's just a matter of being patient and waiting. And um, lately, I had been feeling weary. And uh, today, when I went to the prayer mountain, that what came in my spirit was that I'm not wasting time. I'm not wasting time when I'm praying. I'm not wasting time when I'm seeking God. This is my pastor, guys. Pastor Carter. I'll link his page down below in the description. Let me both see. <laughs> so, I'm not wasting time. That's, that's what God told me. Chanel, 
you're not wasting time when you're spreading my word you're not wasting time when you're believing in me you're not wasting time when you're seeking me and when you're believing in me and i want to encourage you too if you're feeling down or weary you're not you're not wasting time wait for the lord and he will renew your strength and you will mount up things like eagles i promise you and just whenever you're feeling weary and down and depressed just go and worship play some worship songs meditate upon the goodness of god when it is upon something that God has touched your like if there was something that he has touched your life greatly with then go ahead and think upon that. remind yourself renew your mind renew your mind about the goodness of God so yeah please go check out my pastor's page <laughs> trust me you should <laughs>